I have a, a ball autographed by the 1964 World Champion St. Louis Cardinals uh, that my dad obtained uh, after they won the World Series. They had the guy sit down at a table and autograph about uh, three dozen baseballs and each player got one and so I have the ball that my dad had uh, signed by the players and that year in 1964 I was only 14 years old and on top of the world with the Cardinals beating the Yankees in the World Series because I was Cardinal through and through and I really disliked the New York Yankees um, and heaven forbid the next year my dad ends up, uh, he and Johnny Keene end up going to the New York Yankees um, and we were in New York for at least a month and I would, I just liked the Yankees so much that I would not go to the ballpark with my dad because I just, I just disliked the Yankees but uh, we did go to the games, the home games, we did go to the games at night but but I would not go to the ballpark with my dad um, because I just had ill feelings toward the, towards the Yankees and finally one day, my dad talked me into going with him to the ballpark. And so I go to the ballpark, and we get there. The clubhouse attendant came over, gave me a, a Yankee uniform, um, just like the people in St. Louis did. And uh, I, had, of course, had my, my spikes and everything. So I suited up and then went out on the field and got to shag fly balls in the outfield with Mickey Mantle and Tom Trash and uh, um, Roger Maris. And then when my dad was hitting ground balls to the infielder during batting practice, so I would go to first base and take throws from Cleet Boyer and Tony Kubek and Bobby Richardson. And I'd also get to go down to the bullpen and throw to Elson Howard at times. And so the, I, I, I learned a good lesson in life at an early age that you don't really, um, you don't judge a person or people or organization or whatever until you give them a chance to get to know them. So, I have nothing bad to say about the Yankees because they treated us really good, uh, especially me, and, and I had a really great time growing up in Yankee Stadium, uh, being around those guys, um, but it still wasn't like being with the Cardinals. I was, it wasn't St. Louis, and when my dad finished, uh, they, they, they finally let my dad and Johnny King go during the 1966 season. and. In 1967, 68, and 69, he became a third base coach for the Cincinnati Reds under Dave Bristol. Uh, but even the two year, year and a half we were in St. Louis, the two summers, parts of two summers spent in New York, um, it wasn't like the summers I spent in St. Louis. Uh, I loved every minute in St. Louis and, the, and being with the Cardinals, and it was just uh, uh, going from world champion Cardinals in 1964 to go into the New York Yankees in 1965 was just such a big letdown for me. Um, but I did learn a good lesson in life and, and formed a lot of good friendships and memories in New York. But I was glad to get back when my dad got back to the Cardinals because his heart never left the Cardinals either, and neither did mine. We're uh, St. Louis Cardinals through and through, and always will be, always have been.